Hello my friends and welcome to another video of my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a spinner. For this I'm going to keep this text view to use it. If you don't know how to use a text view you can click on this link and watch video about the text view. I'm going to set an ID to the text view. short for text view result and uh, then here through the design section uh, in the palette I'm going to search for a spinner then I can add it here and connect it to the constraints and the IT can be a spinner and that's it and the text of the text view can be please select an item okay let's go to the kotlin file here we are going to initialize the variables I have some steps to do. First of all, uh, I have to create some uh, items to show in my spinner. So I need an array of items. For this, I'm going to create this array. And I can uh, add multiple items, no matter, based on your project. The second step is to uh, create an adapter uh, for the spinner. Then I have to pass the context as you see here and I have some other items. Then the next thing will be uh, the uh, layout of the uh, spinner. That layout dot simple uh, simple spinner drop down item and then I have to pass this array as the items of the spinner so I'm going to write options and that's it for this step the next step is to connect uh, the adapter to the spinner so spinner dot uh, set sorry dot adapter equals to this uh, adapter The next step is to connect the function uh, on item selected listener to the spinner. Then 
And then I have to create an object. And then... Adapter view. That an item selected listener. The first one. Then I'm going to open and close the class. And uh, this object has an error. I'm going to click on it. And here implement uh, members. Then I'm going to click on both of them select both of them and okay now i have two methods here first one on item selected and the second one on nothing selected so whenever the user uh, still didn't select anything we need to set uh, text on the text view uh, to tell the user to uh, change uh, to select an item So uh, text view result dot uh, text equals to please select an item and here we have some variables and this one the p2 is the position of the item that the user is selected and after selecting uh, the item by the user the position uh, which is the type of integer will be stored into the uh, this variable so we have to read this and uh, then take uh, the number which is equal to this uh, from the array list and show it on the uh, text view for this I'm going to write uh, text view dot text equals to you selected dollar sign curly braces options dot get and uh, I'm going to pass the p2 here uh, sorry I should take this quotation mark here and then dot to string uh, that's it let's check it on the emulator okay here uh, by default the item one is selected and uh, when I'm clicking on this the spinner will be open and each item that I'm selecting uh, will be showed here immediately and you see the result of the selection okay that was everything about spinner If you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.